2020 has been a very different year. With everything that has been going on, there's something that didn't change, and that is the release of smartphones. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And yes, it's that time of the year again. We are going to be giving out the top 10 best smartphones in the world. And unlike the video we did last year, where I just mentioned the top 10 best smartphones in the world i'm also going to be telling you the best smartphones in the different in their different categories like the best camera best this best that so i just want you to know that this is how this year's video is going to go and probably yeah so before i give you my top 10 i'm going to give you different categories so the first category we're going to be talking about is the build quality because the build quality of a smartphone is obviously the first thing you're going to feel when you open like when you use the phone is the build quality best phone best build quality on the phone is going to the iphone 12 pro max and my reason for giving that is because apple changed the design this year like the design of the iphone 12 pro max it came in that boxes design so big so rugged and you also watch the drop test videos like i reacted to you saw the drop test we dropped the iphone 12 pro max in different ways and it still didn't crack so that is like my best Build quality that is the phone that is getting the best build quality of this year and the runner up in that position is going to be the galaxy Note 20 ultra not all the phones this year are actually going to be run up in the category but just because of how well the galaxy Note 20 ultra also did in the drop test is the runner up and the phone is actually very slick and sexy when you hold it so the second category we're moving on to is the best camera in any smartphone and the best camera i'm also going to give the google pixel 5 because when i'm saying the best camera i'm talking about like still photography like just normal pictures so the pixel 5 google's image processing is very very smart and very very good like google takes very nice pictures the pixel 5 is the only android smartphone that i know that actually works very well with snapchat the google pixels i don't know what the kind of sorcery google does but maybe because they are the ones that create the android software they were able to partner with snapchat and do stuff, things like that so yes yeah, the google pixel 5 and on honorable mentions in the same camera category we have the iphone 12 we also have the Galaxy Note 20 ultra things like that and yes we are going to the video camera next and the video camera the best smartphone you guys should already know this making videos is the iphone 12 pro max and yes the iphone 12 pro max gets another award again when we talk about apple and this is their new shooting in the new they will be at most like phones don't like some cameras no one shoot that you shoot you can shoot in 4k 60 4k like apple is doing something here with their videos on their smartphones and that's why most people like to use apple smartphones to make videos like you can see most youtubers right now that don't have cameras they're actually shooting their videos on an iphone right now and that is just like mad so next we're going on to the best gaming smartphone and the best gaming smartphone is the rog phone 3 that is the best gaming smartphone this smartphone is just so mad it's so sleek it's so sexy and when i say sleek and sexy in terms of gaming but the body is built like a beast is rugged and everything like that then an honorable mention for the smartphone is the nubia is a nubia red magic so that phone when it came out it was like one of the fastest phones in the world and 20 hertz display for running on 5g running on snapdragon later it was just a beast so that for me that is the second best gaming smartphone and we're moving on to the best small smartphone so you know right now at this point in time smartphones are actually getting bigger we're seeing big very big smartphones like every year they're increasing the screen size we don't know the difference between a phone and a tablet anymore so the best small smartphone is the iphone 12 mini yeah if you guys didn't see that one coming i don't know yes the best small smartphone is actually the iphone 12 mini that phone is small slick like it's basically the iphone 12 in the smaller body so yeah that is it then i'm also going to give the pixel 5 the pixel 5 is not as small as the iphone 12 mini but it's pretty small like it's actually small so yeah the pixel 5 is the runner up in that category so now we're moving on since we just dealt with the best smallest phone we're moving to the best biggest phone and the best biggest phone is the samsung galaxy note 20 ultra and like that phone is mad the galaxy note 20 ultra is a beast samsung's flagship 
the phone has a good camera battery life everything speed so this is the best big phone for me this in my case this is the phone the best big phone you can get right now and the best affordable phone is going to go to the iphone se like best budget smartphone iphone se the iphone se came out this year running on apple's a by a13 bionic like it, it's running on the same chip with the iphone 11 coming an iphone 8 body coming at coming at 300 dollars like the price was just so mad and you can still get this phone you can get this phone in your stores now if you're looking for a new phone to buy just get the iphone se and i bet you it's going to be faster than the iphone 10 the iphone 10s 10s max like all the phones that it came before apart like that came before it, apart from the iphone 11 it's going to be faster than them because it's running on the latest chip of our apple so yeah after that we're going to talk about the oneplus Nord. that's like the runner up in that best budget phone the runner oneplus Nord. so oneplus Nord is like oneplus going back to their roots telling you guys that okay yes this year we decided to make flagships but we're also going to still give you guys that budget phone you understand what i'm saying and we're going to i'm going to give give a special shout out to the samsung galaxy fe because I, this award doesn't have any category i'm just giving this a special shout out because the samsung galaxy s20 fe is stands for s20 fan edition so basically that fan edition came out came about when the galaxy note 7 you guys know what happened when it was going boom boom that year so when it was exploding they now said okay they are releasing the galaxy note fe it was basically just the note 7 but this time it wasn't exploding so that's where the fan edition came from so a special shout out that samsung actually tried with this phone they put in like basically all the specs of the s20 and like improved some of the flaws of the s20 that people didn't really like made the phone cheaper and like it's not like fully glass it's also it has a plastic bag so that you can see where the price has come down but the phone is actually a very good phone uh, before i tell you guys the best smartphone and the worst smartphone of the year obviously now it's time for you guys to listen to my top 10 best phones so obviously when you listen to the top 10 you will know the best smartphone so i'm not going to mention the best smartphone of the year until the end of the video because that's what you guys actually want to know which phone is the best smartphone this year so these are my honorable mentions like the top 10 smartphones for me this year in 2020 that came out so we have number 10 is the iphone se as i've spoken about the iphone se earlier a small compact device affordable for people that have that but aren't able to afford the most expensive they aren't able to afford the most expensive iphones apple just released this phone and this phone is for you guys so apart from that then we have the oppo find x2 pro yes the oppo find x2 pro the oppo find x2 pro actually came out earlier this year people have been saying like maybe um oneplus and oppo are trying to like copy each other and things like that but like i don't know the oppo find x2 pro is actually a mad device it came out earlier this year it has a 90 hertz refresh rate very sexy very sexy design are you guys hearing very sexy design it's expensive so yeah number eight is the pixel 5 so the pixel 5 is, you know, is number eight on this list for me okay. so yes yeah, the google pixel 5 and number seven is the oneplus 8c the oneplus 8c is like the in the child between the oneplus 8 pro and the oneplus 8 like it's the middle child so the oneplus 8 is the flash it's not actually a flagship it's like what oneplus usually makes like the flagship killer phone but it doesn't have like the high-end specs so the oneplus 8c comes in between it has that middle child it's not really a flagship and it's not really a mid-ranger so it's just there in the middle and this phone is actually very nice the design the only thing i don't like about it is like the camera quality and i know for you girls out there and guys too camera quality means a lot so on this list is number seven for me and the number six is the galaxy s20 fe I was talking about the S20 FE. Number five is the iPhone 12. Like the iPhone 12 is just a mad device because it's improved so much from the iPhone 11, especially when I'm talking about the screen. We all know that the iPhone 12 design changed from the iPhone 11, but like in terms of screen, 
like it got an OLED display and that is mad because the iPhone 11 is not using an OLED if you are using an iPhone 11 your phone is on it's using an LCD display but Apple is just good that you guys think it's an OLED but when you hold your phone next to an OLED device you'll be like oh that is a difference so that's just for you guys to know out there and yes the Galaxy S20 Plus is number coming in at number 4 the S20 Plus actually is a very good phone like the S20 Plus just makes sense and Samsung actually did a very good thing this year releasing the S20, S20 Plus, S20 Ultra but like most people actually like the S20 Ultra because of that 16x time zoom like just like sorry the 50x time zoom like you guys just why would I want a phone that can zoom in that much like Samsung it's a mad phone the S20, or S20 Plus 2 is also a mad phone and moving to number 3 is the OnePlus 8 Pro I know I've said it on this channel before that if they ask me which Android I want to use right now I'll tell them OnePlus because like I love OnePlus they might not be like the best Android company out there but like when you look at their software and their design I just love the phone and now it's down to the top two so basically I think when I say number two you guys already know the best smartphone of the year and number two on this list is the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra Yes, I know the Galaxy Note 10 Plus won it last year, but this year the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra just came in second and you guys already know my thoughts about this phone. The phone is actually a mad phone. Makes sense, build, build, quality, everything about the phone just makes sense. And before I get to the best phone of the year, there are also some honorable mentions like we have the Huawei, Huawei Mate 40 Pro. The Huawei P40, the foldable devices like Galaxy, the Galaxy Fold, Galaxy Fold 2. The reason why these phones are not on the list is because one, the Huawei Huawei is a Chinese company, and right now Chinese companies aren't actually allowed to do business with America. And you know when something when America stops you from doing something, your business actually goes down because. Huawei, Google is an American company and Huawei is run on Android. Even though they are building their own OS right now, they run on Android. So it hasn't actually been very good enough for it hasn't actually been a good time for them to actually sell your products because it, right now in the world, if you are not using an Android, you're using an iOS device. So why would I not spend like 400 and something thousand naira and be like I'm buying a Huawei phone that doesn't even run on any of those things? So that is why they are not on the list there's just an honorable mention because why we actually made a good phone this year but i can't recommend it to you because i don't know if you'll be able to use instagram whatsapp basically anything android related nothing i don't know if they have gotten they are able to do all those apps on the phone so yeah and the galaxy phone too i can't remember that one is expensive and it's affordable for maybe you can buy the phone just to flex just to be like yeah i own the galaxy phone too but i won't recommend you buying it so the worst phone of the year is the royal flex buy so the royal flex buy is basically a, it's a foldable smartphone that was made so bad it's so terrible like it folds outwards the boot quality doesn't make sense the software doesn't make sense like i feel the phone was rushed because even when you fold it you see spaces in between the phone it's like why is it now a foldable smartphone if you are going to be seeing space in between so, so like the real flex by gets the worst phone of the year i'm sorry but like you gotta try better next year yeah that's just the truth you gotta try better again next year so yes the best phone of the year the best phone of the year is going to the iphone 12 pro max and if you guys didn't know this you know this now the iphone 12 pro max let me just tell you apple ios for running on ios 14 apple a apple a14 bionic chip mad camera mad battery life the phone is very fast the build quality is mad like it survived the drop test and didn't come out with a scratch this is like apple's best phone this is 
uh, the only thing I'm not happy about Apple is just that no 120 hertz display, no 90 hertz, it's still running on 60 hertz. But like most of you guys wouldn't actually know the difference between 120 hertz and 60 hertz if you are still if you are an Apple user. But if you have used a phone to higher refresh rate and you use the phone, you'll be like, oh. But yes, this is the best. This is my best smartphone of the year. This is Uzi's Tech's best smartphone of the year. The iPhone 11, the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So this phone is just mad and. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video like I hope you guys were able to say that okay maybe I'm actually going to go for this phone in 2021 or something like that so this is final video of the year but it might not be the final video of the year depending so but most likely this is the final video of the year guys the smartphone awards best smartphone of the year this year has actually been a very good year we're able like we you know came into this year 300 subscribers and now we're able to cross over 1000 and that's so much you guys did that so thank you guys for watching i hope you can like this video share comment drop your favorite smartphone of the year in the comment section and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye